Hi, this is Casey Chan from Android Central, and the smartphone round robin is finally over. I'm not dealing with any bolts, any fuses, any iPhones or trios. I'm finally back on the T-Mobile G1, and it is great. It's good to be back, guys, and I'm going to give you a tour of the hardware first just to finalize some details, but I'll focus on the unique aspects of the T-Mobile G1 and Android. Let's take a look at the hardware first. The T-Mobile G1 is plain, okay, that I'll admit that, but in the end, I miss it. I mean, I, it's, I've been two months away from the T-Mobile G1. I miss everything. I even miss the chin, actually. Um, the sliding action is great. The keyboard works. It's a little too flush, but it works. The capacitive touchscreen is wonderful. It's not the fuse resistive. It's not the trio resistive. It, it compares very well with the iPhone 3G capacitive touchscreen. Unlike the iPhone, though, you get hardware buttons and you get a plethora of input options so you don't deal with those same limitations as the iPhone. Also, personally, the matte finish is a breath of fresh air in today's glossy, glossy, and more glossy. You don't deal with the same fingerprint issues that you do with the Trio, the iPhone, and so on. Um, the hardware buttons are great because they give you, you know, static buttons that will always remain the same. And it gives you a better depth of action than any other phone or well, it's similar to the BlackBerry button, but still, the menu button and the home button, the back button, the end button, the make call button, it all works beautifully well. The benefit of a slider is that you have a touchscreen for all your touchscreen needs, and when you need a keyboard, a physical keyboard, you just slide it open and it works wonderfully. As you can see, the notification features is great. Everything about, you know, the Google branding, of course, this is Android, because, I mean, that's the most important part. I mean, there's the My Faves, T-Mobile, there's a bunch of, I mean, when it's slid open, it is still, it's still pretty good looking. Actually, a lot of people give the T-Mobile G1 a bad rap because it doesn't look that great. But honestly, it feels pretty good in hand. Though. My only issue really is that lack of a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is the pretty much the standard in today's music. We can go through the hardware really quickly. Um, there's a volume toggle down switch on the left side of the vice. Um, taking out the battery, it's really easy. You just pop it open, and there it is. There's the battery. The battery's a little weak. Um, there's a lot of complaints about it. Maybe there's rumors that they're going to release a new battery. Hopefully, that comes true, actually. Um, it's a very clean back end. There's just a couple screws here and there, but all in around, it, it creates a pretty much a pretty solid feel. It doesn't, there's very little creakiness to it. And the right side of the device is pretty clean. It's clean lines, and there's also a dedicated camera button, but I'm not really a fan of that button because it's a little hard to push, but we can deal. Of course, the lack of 35 millimeter headphone jack just drives me nuts. The camera is decent, not too spectacular. The speaker is pretty above average, I would say, actually. Um, the keyboard works. It backlights when it first pops up. Um, it's a little too flush, but we'll get into more of that later. In the meantime, we'll get take a closer look at the much maligned chin. As you can see, the chin provides a lot of buttons, a lot of hardware buttons. You get your end button, your call button, your home button, your back button, your track button, your menu button. There's a plenty of options you can do. They're all flush with the casing, so it's a little hard to press, but you get used to it. The only thing that sticks out is actually the trackball. The trackball is useful. It's similar to BlackBerry. And here's a closer look at the T-Mobile G1's keyboard. The T-Mobile G1's keyboard, the keys are actually kind of flush with the casing, similar to the hardware buttons. But it's a five-line layout. You get your numbers on the top and your letters and all the different options laid out to you. A lot of keyboard shortcuts can be made as well. It's a good keyboard. I'm Personally, I'm a huge fan of it, actually. But obviously, the biggest draw of the T-Mobile G1 is Android. And Android is the star of the show. It is, you know, what you get excited about for the T-Mobile G1. Um, you can easily change, customize everything. Wallpapers differ a little from regular phones because it is one continuous picture. It, it stays the same as, a, as opposed to other phones where just like the picture remains the same. It, this is a little different. Um, it also works in landscape and portrait mode. You bust out landscape mode when you pop up the keyboard. Widgets totally can disappear. The home page is totally customizable. I love that aspect about the T-Mobile G1. Uh, for the sake of this exercise, we're just going to keep it in portrait mode. And show you a little app. Scoreboard's an app designed by Google, Shazam, Mebo, Video Player fills in a need. Twidroid's a Twitter client, TuneWiki, uh, um, a music player. And any missing feature that's missing in Android right now, it gets filled in by a third party application. And how do you get third party applications? You simply just click on the Android Market logo and you just download it away. It's actually a wonderful implementation of third party applications. Um, let's take a look at communication and see how we can better communicate 
through the third party third party applications I meant to say um, um, as you can see there's tons of apps you see your ratings all of them all the um, applications right now are free and not until January I believe will they start um, charging for applications uh, we can download visual voicemail to add you know another feature to the G1 it's that easy you just click install the the lighting I didn't correctly light it so it looks a little faded but actually the the buttons are clear and you can totally understand what they're trying to do with it also I found this um I heard about this application chop SMS it's supposed to add an on-screen keyboard I've never um, messed with this application yet but I'm gonna download it and then we'll see it in this video review my first impressions actually um, as you can see on the top there's a notification feature that tells you when downloads are up, when downloads are in progress when do they finish when does the application successfully install this notification notification feature is probably the best throughout all the smartphones it is it gives you updates for everything and you can clear notifications just by one button or you can just cl click the notification and it'll bring you to where you need to respond to basically. What I also love about Android is that it extends the home screen experience. The bottom tab shows your applications. The top tab is the notifications features. I mean you can have anything you want. I have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi icons that basically toggle on and off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. You just one tap, you turn it off. One tap, you turn it on. It makes so much sense. It's so simple. And I love how you could just download this application, this simple application that no other smartphone seems to have. And it's just one click and you're done and you're there. You know, you don't have to be thinking through settings. You should, you're able to enjoy and easily um, run your smartphone just from the home screen. As you can see, this allows access to basically everything that your smartphone is capable of. You can turn off, turn on, adjust, everything. It makes so much sense and I love this feature in Android. Now let's try to find those applications we just downloaded, right? Um, actually, we'll take a look at Compass. Uh, T-Mobile G1 is actually unique in the sense that it has a compass inside the phone so it points the direction of north where north is and south where south is. It works wonders actually. It's just good to know what direction you're headed, especially if you have a bad sense of direction. Um, some people say it's not accurate, but it works fine for me. Let's continue scrolling down the list. It's an alphabetical order of the applications, and we can see where what we downloaded. Oh, there's our visual voicemail app, but we're not going to get into that. I'm trying to find the Chomp SMS that I've heard so much about with the on-screen keyboard. And doesn't that look familiar? It looks exactly like the iPhone keyboard, but just in a different font, and it works pretty well. I just started typing with it. And I'm in an awkward position, so I'm not going to be typing as accurate, but I'm pretty pretty impressed by it. I mean, it actually gives a haptic feedback and the vibration. I wasn't really a fan of that originally, but it works in this setting. Um, obviously, the autocorrect's not going to be working yet, quite yet, and there's no system-wide on-screen keyboard. But when there is for Android, this is going to be you know so convenient, a lot more convenient than it used to be when you had to slide out the keyboard. It's just so great to see developers take advantage of that freedom that they have. You know, they can basically retweak and design programs, whatever they like. You know, on-screen keyboard isn't there. They'll make their application with the on-screen keyboard. Everything is customizable. You can add widgets when they come along more. Then you can add, like, you know, your homepage will be a one-stop shop for all your stocks, weather, without even accessing the application. It will just be running in the background. Um... The T-Mobile G1 and Android gives a lot of opportunity. That, that freedom is unique in the sense that the other phones can't offer this type of experience, you know? So stay tuned to Android Central where we're going to compare the T-Mobile G1 and Android as a platform to every other smartphone in the smartphone round robin.